Today we are going to multiply multi-digit whole numbers by decimals. So one of the first steps that we're going to take is to round our factors to give us a reasonable estimate which is going to help us check our actual product. So we're going to take 67 and round it to 70 and our 8 and 9 tenths and round it up to 9, which is going to get a, give us an estimate of 630. So thinking about our estimate, we want to see if this estimate is going to be greater than or less than the actual product. And since we rounded both of our factors up, our estimate is going to be greater than our actual product. Now I'm going to show you two ways that you can multiply our decimal times our whole number. And using our standard algorithm, we are going to rename our decimal to the smallest place value. In this case, it is tenths, so we're going to rename 8 and 9 tenths to 89 tenths. Now that we've decomposed our number to 89 tenths, we can multiply it by 67. Now we're ready to multiply, so I'm going to take my 7 and multiply it by the 9, which gives me 63 make that a small 6 so I know to add it to the next number when I multiply 7 times 8 which gives me 56 plus 6 which equals 62. I'm going to cross out my 6 so that I don't get confused. Now I'm ready to multiply my 6. So my 6 is in the tens place so we can think 60 times 9 equals 540, and that 0 helps me to hold my place. Next, I'm going to multiply my 6 times 8, which gives me 48, plus my 5, which equals 53. Again, I want to cross out my 5 so that when I add these up, I don't confuse those numbers. I like to put lines between all of my numbers so that it helps me add them in nice neat columns. So I have 3 plus 0, which gives me 3, 4 plus 2, which equals 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, and 5 plus 0 is 5. Again, we have to remember that we're working with decimals, so we have to include the tenths in order to rewrite this in standard form, we can say 5,963 tenths is the same as 596 and 3 tenths. So our last digit goes into the tenths place. We can show this same exact multiplication by using an area model. Going back to our 89 tenths, we can write that in expanded form by writing 80 and 9 tenths. Since we have these two places to hold, and 89 has two digits, we are going to divide this box into two parts. Next, we're going to do the same thing with 67. We're going to write that in expanded form, showing that we have seven ones and six tens, or 60. Since 67 is a two-digit number, we are also going to divide, to divide this box into two equal parts. Now we're ready to multiply, so I'm going to take my 7 and times it by 80, which gives me 560. I'm going to take my 7 again and multiply it by the 9, which equals 63. Next, we're going to multiply our 60 
times 80, which we can use 8 times 6, which gives us 48. And because there's two zeros, our number is 4,800. Then we're going to do the same. We're going to take 60 and multiply it by our 9, which gives us 540. Now that we've done all the multiplication, we have to add up all of our digits inside these boxes. So when we add 560 plus 63, we get 623. You can do the work on the side, whatever you feel more comfortable with. And then we have to add our 4,800 plus 540, which gives us 5,340. And if you notice, these numbers are the same as the numbers that we got when we used our standard algorithm. Now after doing all this work, you need to remember to add all of these digits together. And we get 3 plus 0 is 3, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, and 5 plus 0 is 5. Again, we can't forget that these numbers are in the tenths that we were working with. So 5,963 tenths can be written in standard form as 596 and 3 tenths.